Chapter 536, Exchange Xiao Yan followed Elder Hao as he walked out of the medicinal management warehouse. They walked slowly while following the main road. There were occasionally some students who saw the two of them walking side by side along the way. Surprise flashed across their faces. Elder Hao always looked at the others with a cold face. Therefore, other people both feared and respected him. All of them felt extremely surprised when they saw that he engaged in a smiling conversation with Xiao Yan. On top of being surprised, they could not help but view Xiao Yan a little more seriously. Everyone clearly knew the authority of these elders within the inner academy. If someone did not open their eyes and offended them, these elders may find trouble. Abusing one's authority for one's private purposes was something that inevitably existed even within this inner academy. Xiao Yan did not pay much attention to those gazes along the way. Due to Elder Hao being by his side, even some of the students who recognized him and wanted to step forward to issue a challenge also weighed the situation and shrank back. Therefore, it saved Xiao Yan a lot of trouble. That elder is called Lu Ying, he is the tower guardian elder of the fifth level of the Blazing Sky Qi Refining Tower. It is his turn to rest today, therefore, we can directly go to his living quarters. Elder Hao told Xiao Yan some of the matters related to that elder along the way. Xiao Yan nodded slightly when he heard this. You can simply state the purpose of your visit when you see that fellow. Although his temper is a little strong, you need not be afraid of him. He will not do anything to you. Xiao Yan smiled. He mused for a moment before asking, Does this elder Lu have anything that he specially likes? Xiao Yan naturally needed to cater to the elder's liking if he wanted to successfully obtain the rank 6 monster core from the other person's hands. What does he like, you should clearly understand that upon reaching a class like ours, it is very difficult to move us with ordinary valuables. Instead, some of the things that could aid us in our training possess an enormous attraction to us. Although that fellow is stingy, he is extremely obsessed with training. If you are able to take out an item that would benefit his training, I think that he should be attracted. Elder Hao voiced his thoughts. Something that benefits his training, Xiao Yan muttered softly, May I know what is the affinity of the Qi method that this elder practices? Fire affinity. It is precisely because of this that his temper is a little strong. Elder Hao replied and smiled. Fire affinity, Xiao Yan smiled and nodded slightly. He now had a small understanding within his heart. Elder Hao could not help but be a little stunned when he saw the manner of Xiao Yan. Was this fellow really able to take out something that would move that stingy old fellow? That's right. He is an alchemist. Ordinarily speaking, he should have stored some treasures. As the two of them conversed along the way, they had unknowingly approached the inner regions of the inner academy. This place was the residence of the Inner Academy elders and instructors. The environment was quiet and peaceful. It was many times better than the hostel of the students. This was nothing strange. With the powerful strength of these elders, the treatment that they received was naturally not something that students like them could compare with. They passed through a lush green arbor before Elder Hao gradually slowed his footsteps a while later. Finally, he stopped at a house that was completely built by emerald green bamboo. This elder Lu really knows how to enjoy himself. Xiao Yan could not help but feel some surprise in his heart when he saw this bamboo house. Elder Hao in front of him had lifted his hand and was just about to knock on the door when a powerful and impatient voice was emitted from behind the door, Just come in if you want to. Why do you need to knock the door? You like this antiquated method. Can't you be more direct? Xiao Yan let out a bitter laugh when he heard the words that were transmitted from within the house. Only then did he understand why Elder Hao told him to directly express the purpose of his visit. Clearly, this was an impatient fellow. He would not accept someone who spoke to him in a roundabout manner. Elder Hao did not feel anything as this moment. He pushed open the door as though he was used to it and walked in while holding a smile on his face as he said, Elder Lu. I have brought someone with me and I'm afraid that you will have to see him. Who is it? Xiao Yan also followed Elder Hao and walked into the house. 
However, he coincidentally saw a red-robed old man walking in the house. At this moment, the old man's sleepy eyes were still a little bleary. It appeared that he had just escaped from his sleep. He spoke as he walked and only raised his head when he was at the front of the house. When his gaze drifted toward the young man whose appearance was unclear because of the light from behind him, Elder Lu could not help but frown and said, Brat, where have you come from? Don't tell me that you have been chased out of the blazing sky chi refining tower by some elders and want me to go and plead for you. Student Xiao Yan greets Elder Lu. Xiao Yan smiled slightly, took a step forward and spoke with his hands cupped together. Ah, uh, hey? Xiao Yan? That's Xiao Yan who is able to refine a tier 5 medicinal pill. Elder Lu had merely responded with an indifferent sound initially. After all, he had seen too many students who had come here to beg for mercy and was already too lazy to be bothered by their complaints. However, he was a little startled after he heard the somewhat familiar name. His gaze hurriedly shifted to Xiao Yan's face as he opened his mouth and spoke in a surprised manner. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He did not expect that his status as an alchemist was so useful. Even this elder had hurriedly changed his expression when he heard his name. KK, this name is extremely well known. Sit. What reason do you have to look for me? Elder Lu smiled and waved his hand toward Xiao Yan. He sat on the chair before returning to his impatient character as he asked in a pressing manner. Xiao Yan tilted his head slightly toward Elder Hao and exchanged glances with him when he heard this. The latter spread his hand, indicating that Xiao Yan would have to handle the remaining matters. Xiao Yan helplessly nodded and mused for a moment. He exercised some discretion in his words before he smiled and said, This time around, I have come to look for Elder Lu mainly because this little me is currently lacking something. Coincidentally, Elder Lu is in possession of this thing. Xiao Yan will definitely provide a great reward if Elder Lu promises to exchange this thing with little me. Lacking something. Elder Lu was a little startled. His expression did not change as he placed down the teacup in his hand and said, What is it? Tell me. I will not reject as long as it is not an extremely valuable item. A rank 6 water affinity monster core. Xiao Yan mentioned casually. Crack. Xiao Yan's words had just sounded when the teacup in Elder Liu's hand in front of him could not resist the sudden increase in strength. With a clear sound, it turned into a pile of fragments. Cough, Elder Hao coughed softly by the side. This fellow really did view that thing as his life. It appeared that it was going to be quite difficult for Xiao Yan to obtain it this time around. Humph. This randomly gossiping fellow is the one who tells you that I possess a rank 6 monster core right. Elder Lu rubbed away the water traces on his hand and stared at Elder Hao. Although the first elder had quietly informed them to look after Xiao Yan, they did not need to look after him to such an extent did they? A rank 6 monster core was a rare thing no matter how one placed it. Moreover, this thing is something that he had obtained after risking his life back then. How could he easily give it to someone else? I will openly tell you that I will not give the rank 6 monster core to anyone. You should not waste your effort. In an attempt to remove this thought of Xiao Yan's, Elder Liu's first sentence was extremely firm. Elder Hao shook his head helplessly. It appeared that there was not much hope for the manor today. KK, Elder Liu, a rank 6 monster core may indeed be valuable but it is not something that truly does not have a price. You practice fire affinity chi method. Such a water affinity monster core does not have the slightest benefit to you. The only reason that you reject me without even thinking should be that you are worried that I am unable to take out something that would truly attract Elder Hao, no. Xiao Yan did not feel dejected just because of Elder Liu's firm manner. He smiled slightly before speaking in a slow manner. Elder Lu rolled his eyes but did not reply. A rank 6 magical beast was something that even the current him could not defeat. Although he viewed this rank 6 monster core as a treasure, he was not a fool who hugged it until his old age. This monster core may possess a powerful energy but that was a kind of wild and violent energy that had not been refined. 
a human body would not easily absorb it. Therefore, he would naturally not reject if there was someone who was able to take out something that would move him to exchange for it. However, with the age of Xiao Yan in front of him, Elder Lu really had difficulty believing just how valuable the thing that he could take out was. Elder Lu should also know that this rank 6 monster core is unable to be of much use in your hands. Therefore, it would be the best choice to exchange it for something. Elder need not be stubborn. Why don't you open your mouth and tell me what you want? If Xiao Yan possesses it, I will naturally take it out. Xiao Yan spoke softly. Hey, I say, you should not be so antiquated. Although Xiao Yan is young, there might be more treasures on him than you. There will no longer be this shop once you pass this village. Elder Hao fanned the flames by the side. TL, there will no longer be this shop once you pass this village, meaning there will no longer be this opportunity once you miss it. Elder Liu's face alternated between green and white. A long while later, his tensed face finally relaxed. He rubbed his nose and said, It is possible if you want to exchange for this rank 6 monster core from my hands as long as you give me a doling pill. Doling pill? Don't you have a lion's mouth, old fellow who won't die? Elder Hao by the side immediately leaped up when Elder Liu's voice sounded. The former widened his eyes and scolded, That is a tier 6 medicinal pill. How can Xiao Yan refine it with his current strength? Aren't you making things difficult for others? Elder Lu smacked his lips and ignored him. He only used his gaze to watch Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. His finger gently tapped on the surface of the table. It was a long while later before he shook his head slightly and said, I am indeed unable to take out this Doling pill. Elder Lu was immediately disappointed when he heard this. He waved his hand in a dispirited manner and said, Please leave if you don't have it. However, Xiao Yan smiled. He flicked his finger gently on his storage ring. Immediately, a thumb-sized green-colored lotus seed appeared in his palm. The green-colored lotus seed had just appeared when a powerful fiery hot energy reverberated within the room. Xiao Yan smiled and spoke as he eyed Elder Lu, who had straightened in an instant. I think that Elder Lu might have some interest in this thing. Chapter 537, Obtaining It The green-colored lotus seed lay quietly in Xiao Yan's hand emitting a faint glow. Although it was quite small, the powerful hot energy that it contained caused even Elder Liu's and Elder Hao's faces to be filled with surprise. This green-colored lotus seed was the additional item that Xiao Yan had found when searching for the green lotus core flame within the Great Tiger Desert, the ground fire lotus seed. This kind of fire lotus seed was agglomerated and formed from fire affinity energy after a long duration of time. Therefore, it greatly benefited those who practiced fire affinity dochi. Back then, Xiao Yan had obtained a total of 11 ground fire lotus seed. He had consumed one himself. Hence, he was left with only 10 of them. Back when Xiao Yan had just obtained the fire lotus seeds, Yao Lao had told him that he should try his best to avoid revealing it in front of others. Otherwise, he might end up with a lot of trouble for no other reason besides the arousal of other people's greed. Things were different now. Currently, Xiao Yan was no longer that small doshi he was back then. There were also many trump cards that he had now. Even if he were to face an elite Do Wang, Xiao Yan would be able to withdraw in one piece. Moreover, he was currently within the inner academy, and did not need to worry that these elders would quietly attack him just because they desired his things. The atmosphere within the room was quiet. The slightly hot energy fluctuation appeared to have created a faint hot wind within the room. Elder Liu's eyes stared directly at the ground fire lotus seed. The glow in his eyes grew increasingly intense. If he were able to absorb all of this powerful energy, it was likely that his strength, which had not seen any movement for a long time, would once again obtain an advancement. He let out a heavy sigh in his heart. It was really unexpected that Xiao Yan was actually able to take out such a treasure. Although this ground fire lotus seed did not possess an attraction that was as large as a Doling pill in the eyes of a Do Wang, 
Elder Lu also clearly understood that unless he met a true sucker, it would be quite difficult for him to exchange a doling pill from the hands of other alchemists with this rank 6 monster core. The exchange terms that he had mentioned earlier was just as Elder Hao described earlier. He really had a lion's mouth, demanding more than what was fair. Cough a soft coughing sound suddenly sounded, causing the two elders, who had descended into silence to recover. They exchanged glances with one another, and gave awkward smiles. Elder Lu coughed dryly. His gaze partially loomed over Xiao Yan's hand as he studied it. His originally somewhat sunken face had an additional smile, May I know what this thing in your hand is? This is a lotus seed formed from the coagulation of the core flame. It is something that the little me had obtained with luck. It is rumored that it requires at least a hundred years for such a lotus seed to take form. Xiao Yan smiled. Since no one recognized it, the other party would be stunned even if he said it took a thousand years. Oh. Elder Lu nodded slightly. The skin on his face twitched a little, feeling uncertain about whether he should believe it. What do you say, Elder Lu? This ground fire lotus seed may not be comparable to a doling pill but it is also an extremely rare item. Moreover, it even possesses such pure fire affinity energy. I'm afraid that the benefits it has for you are far more than what that rank 6 water affinity monster core can compare with. Xiao Yan smiled and said. Elder Hao licked his mouth. His expression was filled with hesitation and indecision. Although this ground fire lotus seed was rare, he really felt that it was difficult to just hand over the most precious rank 6 monster core to exchange for it within this short period of time. His finger knocked against the table and the expression on his face was volatile. It was a long while later before he slowly spoke, I would lose out if my rank 6 monster core is exchanged for just one ground fire lotus seed, he suddenly slammed the table at the end of his words and said, if you were to take out another ground fire lotus seed, I will endure the pain in my heart and hand this rank 6 monster core to you. Elder Hao's face twitched when he heard these words by the side. However, he did not open his mouth to interrupt. Instead, he merely used his gaze to glance at Xiao Yan, appearing to be waiting for his decision. Xiao Yan frowned slightly. This ground fire lotus seed was extremely rare. He had been unwilling to consume it unless it was a critical moment. This was because he was uncertain whether he would need them when he wanted to refine some higher tier medicinal pills in the future. These things only formed in the place where the green lotus core flame was born. However, just how many places in this world could one find the green lotus core flame? Therefore, he would basically lose one ground fire lotus seed each time he used it. It was already his limit now that he had taken out one pill to exchange for Elder Liu's rank 6 monster core. It would be Xiao Yan's turn to feel pain if he were to add another one. Ah, I have only luckily obtained one ground fire lotus seed. Elder Liu, you are really making things difficult for me if you want me to add another. Xiao Yan let out a sigh and shook his head. He slowly withdrew his palm and kept the ground fire lotus seed. From the looks of it, he actually had the intention to give up this transaction. Anxiety flashed across Elder Liu's eyes when he saw Xiao Yan's action. He forcefully suppressed the impulse in his heart as he gave Xiao Yan a forceful smile and said, Little fellow, this ground fire lotus seed may be rare, but you should also clearly be aware of the value of a rank 6 monster core. How many people would dare to place their intention on a magical beast that could contend against an elite Doha Wang? With the exception of the first elder, this rank 6 monster core in my hands is perhaps the only one among all the many elders of the inner academy. The meaning of these words were undoubtedly secretly reminding Xiao Yan that only he himself possessed a rank 6 monster core in his hand within this inner academy. If Xiao Yan did not exchange with him, the former might end up empty-handed. I also wished to. Unfortunately, I am unable to fork out the price that Elder wants. Although Elder Lu hid his anxiety quite well, his original character was not suited for such concealment of his feelings. Therefore, Xiao Yan, who was sitting on the opposite side, was able to clearly grasp this thread of emotion. Immediately, 
he let out a snicker within his heart. On the surface, however, he sighed and shook his head. He actually stood up slowly and stored the ground fire lotus seed back into his storage ring. After which, he cupped his hands toward Elder Lu before speaking to Elder Hao beside him with a bitter smile, Elder Hao, let's leave. Ah, forget it. It is all right that you are unable to exchange for it. Later, I will help you inquire with the first elder. Elder Hao helplessly nodded as he stood up and spoke to Xiao Yan. The eyes of Elder Lu, who was seated beside him, twitched upon hearing this. He was slightly furious as he quietly cursed. When he saw that Xiao Yan had turned around and was about to leave, he was finally unable to endure it any longer. He hurriedly stood up and said, Little friend Xiao Yan, don't be in such a hurry to leave. We can continue to discuss. Xiao Yan's footsteps paused for a moment. His heart finally sighed in relief when he heard Elder Lu open his mouth. He turned his head slightly, only to see the smile on Elder Hao's face and was instantly startled. Elder Hao had actually understood Elder Liu's impatient manner. Therefore, he had fanned the flame. Xiao Yan threw a gaze of gratitude to Elder Hao. Only then did he turn around and speak with a helpless look on his face, Elder Lu, it is not that I am unwilling to exchange but I am really unable to take out a second ground fire lotus seed. Elder Liu's face turned slightly red. He wanted to obtain that ground fire lotus seed, but felt heartache over the value of the rank 6 monster core. He became somewhat silent immediately. After struggling in this manner for a while, he finally sighed in a dispirited manner and said, It is fine that you don't add another ground fire lotus seed. However, you must promise me one thing. What is it? Xiao Yan asked cautiously. Help me refine one dragon strength pill. Elder Lu sighed. He was dissatisfied to simply take one ground fire lotus seed. Therefore, he must definitely get something else. Only then will his heart be in equilibrium. Refining a dragon strength pill hui, Xiao Yan rejoiced within his heart when he heard this. On the surface, however, he hesitated for a moment before speaking, all right. However, according to the rules, Elder Lu must prepare the ingredients for the refinement by yourself. You, you stingy fellow. Elder Lu immediately blew at his beard somewhat angrily when he heard Xiao Yan's words. After cursing loudly, however, he suddenly became dispirited. With a wave of his hand, he said, All right I will prepare the medicinal ingredients by myself, by myself. Little fellow, you are a little too stingy. Can't a young person be a little more generous? I cannot be a little more generous on this. Even I myself cannot gather all the ingredients needed to refine the dragon strength pill. Where will I find them to help you refine it? Xiao Yan muttered in his heart. The dragon strength pill that he gave Elder Hao was refined from the medicinal ingredients that the latter had prepared himself. Although these medicinal ingredients cannot be compared to the ground fire lotus seed, they were still quite rare. It was likely that he would have to waste a lot of time if he were to go and search for them by himself. A glow flicked from the storage ring on Elder Liu's hand. An azure-colored crystal body that was the size of a fist appeared in his hand. Following the appearance of the azure-colored crystal, the originally dry room immediately became somewhat fresh and cool as well as a little moist. Elder Lu rubbed this azure crystal body whose shape was not uniform, unwilling to part with it. A moment later, he clenched his teeth and gently placed it on the table. He said, Ah, take it, take it. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the blue-colored crystal on the table. The slight glow which it emitted was gentle and did not pierce one's eyes. One could even vaguely hear a little wave sounds resonate from the crystal body. A fieriness rose quietly within Xiao Yan's heart. His expression did not change as he took a step forward. He held it in his hand under the extremely painful gaze of Elder Lu. Only after he sensed the powerful water affinity energy like a surging river did he sigh in relief and appeared to have been freed from a heavy burden. He had finally obtained this final thing that he needed to refine the ground spirit pill. KK, Elder Lu. 
you can keep this ground fire lotus seed first. As for the dragon strength pill, I will help Elder refine it once you send the medicinal ingredients that you have gathered to Pan's gate. Xiao Yan swiftly stored the rank 6 water affinity monster core into his storage ring before smiling and respectfully handing over the ground fire lotus seed in his hand to Elder Lu. Elder Lu shook his head with a bitter smile. He grabbed this ground fire lotus seed. Only after sensing the enormous fire affinity energy within it did his expression become a little better. He let out a faint AI sound before waving his hand toward Xiao Yan and Elder Hao. Xiao Yan knew that Elder Lu was definitely in somewhat of a bad mood at this moment. Therefore, he did not dare to continue remaining here. He secretly laughed in his heart before exchanging a look with Elder Hao. The both of them left with their limbs feeling light, leaving behind Elder Lu, whose expression alternated between joy and pain as he held the ground fire lotus seed. The latter was alone in the room, tasting the feeling of conflict. Chapter 538, Refining the Ground Spirit Pill Xiao Yan and Elder Hao exchanged glances with one another as they walked out of Elder Liu's room. Both of them involuntarily laughed out loud. Elder Hao, I really have to thank you very much this time around. Xiao Yan walked a little closer and softly said, there will definitely be a reward for you in the future. KK, this is but a small matter. Our ears will be a little quieter now that that fellow has lost the thing he boasts about in front of us. Elder Hao waved his hand. However, from the looks of his expression, Xiao Yan's words still caused him to be quite happy. After all, he already had some intention of befriending Xiao Yan after witnessing the latter's refinement skills. He was already quite happy at being able to get a tier 5 alchemist to owe him a favor that was neither large nor small. The two of them chatted and laughed as they walked out of this quiet area where the elders resided. The two of them separated at a fork in the road. Elder Hao needed to return to guard the medicinal warehouse, and Xiao Yan needed to return to Pan's gate. Xiao Yan stood at the forked road and eyed Elder Hao's back which had disappeared. He let out a long sigh, and the joy within his heart involuntarily surfaced on his face. Now that he had fully prepared all the things he needed, all that was left was the refinement. However, the ground spirit pill was a tier 6 medicinal pill. With his current strength, he could merely refine some common tier 5 medicinal pills. He need not even be bothered about thinking of a tier 6 medicinal pill. Therefore, it was likely that Yao Lao would need to act to refine the ground spirit pill. Now, we are pressed for time. There is no telling when the fallen heart flame will erupt. Therefore, it is best to refine this ground spirit pill as soon as possible. Yao Lao's voice also quietly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart while the latter was in deep thought. Xiao Yan raised his head slightly. He eyed the deserted area around him and nodded his head without leaving a trace. His footsteps walked toward the area where Pan's gate was located as he softly asked in his heart, in that case, when does teacher intend to act? It is for best that we do it during these next few days. Yao Lao voiced his thoughts, you should first rest for one to two days. After which, we will need to enter deep into the mountains once again. Some unusual phenomenon occurs in the sky when refining a tier 6 medicinal pill. Moreover, this ground spirit pill can be considered among the top even within the tier 6 medicinal pills. Hence, there might be quite a great movement. As such, we will definitely be exposed if we were to refine it within the inner academy. Xiao Yan nodded his head, indicating that he understood. He quietly mused for a while within his heart before he gradually hastened his footsteps. A short while later, he appeared outside of Pan's gate. Perhaps it was because it was currently at night, but the people who were waiting at this place to challenge him had all disappeared. This caused Xiao Yan to save the trouble of secretly flying in again. He arranged his robes before openly walking in through the main entrance. Xiao Yan spent the next two days training quietly within Pan's gate. He did not enter the blazing Sky Chi refining tower. Moreover, no problems occurred within Pan's gate during these two days. Currently, the sale of medicinal pills by Pan's gate dominated 70% of the market of the academy. 
An increasing number of older students had also wanted to enter after hearing the name of Pan's Gate. Moreover, the number of alchemists in Pan's Gate increased from the original three to the current six after a stringent selection period. Therefore, the speed at which the medicinal pills were refined had also increased by quite a lot. Currently, the strength of Pan's Gate was already a faction that was sufficient enough to rival that of some of the top-tier factions within the Inner Academy under the support of the powerful fire energy. Moreover, two strong people who had reached the strength of three-star Dolings ended up joining Pan's Gate due to the attraction of the reward and punishment system that Sun Er and the others had set up. This was something that Xiao Yan had not expected. Hence, Pan's Gate currently possessed three elite Dolings if these two Doling were included. This lineup caused it to have the qualification to truly become a top tier faction. Moreover, under the support of its powerful finances, someone who was able to become a member of Pan's Gate already possessed the capital to boast to people around them. The current Pan's Gate was as different as the clouds in the sky and the mud on the ground when compared to the Pan's Gate formed from new students half a year ago. By being able to transform a mediocre faction into a powerful one within half a year, Xiao Yan's name also began to spread around the inner academy in an increasingly loud manner. Although he was merely ranked 34 on the strong ranking, his reputation was enough to catch up with those top experts in the top 10. Xiao Yan finally ended his training retreat on the third day. He had firmly stabilized his strength at the one-star Doling level today. Moreover, his Dou Qi had also advanced quite significantly due to him refining medicinal pills a couple of times. According to this speed, he would not need much time to enter into the peak of a one-star Doling. Xiao Yan walked downstairs after coming out of his room. He saw Hu Jia's figure within the hall, and felt a much stronger Qi from her. Xiao Yan understood that she had actually benefited from her misfortune of being injured this time allowing her to break through to the level of a nine-star Dadoshi. With her training talent, she might not need much time before she truly break through to become a Doling. At that time, Pan's Gate would have an additional Doling. Oh no, it should be two more. He must not exclude that battle lunatic Wu Hao. With the way he crazily fought every day in the fighting arena, Xiao Yan guessed that the latter might well enter the Doling class earlier than Hu Jiri. Xiao Yan walked into the hall and carelessly ate some breakfast. He briefly told Sun Er that he needed to once again enter the deep mountains this time around. The latter also felt somewhat stunned when she heard that Xiao Yan was going back after having only just returned for a couple of days. However, she found it hard to say anything to stop Xiao Yan when she saw his serious expression. All she did was merely nod her head obediently. Go, be careful. I will take care of Pan's gate. Sun Er said with a soft smile when she saw Xiao Yan standing up and preparing to leave after having eaten his breakfast. AI, you have all worked really hard. I will return after a couple of days this time around. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded to Sun Er and Hu Jiri. He pulled open the door and an eye-piercing sunlight caused him to narrow his eyes. Immediately, he let out a smile and proudly walked out. Xiao Yan ran to the exit of the Inner Academy after leaving Pan's Gate. Only after leaving the Inner Academy did he search for a remote location. After which, he summoned his purple cloud wings and swiftly rose into the air. His body transformed into a black shadow that swiftly flew into the deep mountains. Xiao Yan flapped the purple cloud wings and flew for nearly an hour. After he figured out that he had already entered the middle region of the mountain range, he gradually slowed down. He spent half an hour searching a precipitous mountain peak that was merely a few dozen feet wide before slowly descending. These few mountain peaks were nearly completely vertical. If one did not borrow the help of wings, it was impossible to climb to its peak without the support of powerful Dochi. Moreover, there were a couple of even taller mountain peaks standing around it. Coincidentally they covered this small mountain peak within enormous lush green trees. Yao Lao's figure immediately drifted out when Xiao Yan landed on the top of this small mountain. The former eyed his surroundings before nodding with some satisfaction. You should not be too far away while I am refining the ground spirit pill. You need to carefully observe my refining methods. 
Although you are able to be extremely sought after no matter where you are given your current medicinal refinement skills, you still have an extremely large gap when compared with a true alchemist grandmaster. Yao Lao spoke to Xiao Yan in a solemn manner. Yes. Xiao Yan hurriedly nodded when he heard this. Being able to observe an alchemist grandmaster refining a medicinal pill was something that one might encounter, but could not wish for. It had extremely great benefits for him. TL, something that one might encounter, but could not wish for, meaning that if one is lucky one will meet it. Otherwise, one will not get the chance regardless of how much they desire. Of course, you must keep a distance from the unnatural phenomenon when the pill is formed. Otherwise, it would be troublesome if you are accidentally injured. Yao Lao sat cross-legged on the grass as he reminded. Xiao Yan nodded once again. Take out the medicinal ingredients. Yao Lao's expression gradually became solemn as he exhaled a deep breath of air and instructed. Xiao Yan swiftly took out the few extremely rare medicinal ingredients from his storage ring when he heard Yao Lao's instruction. He placed them orderly in front of him. In an instant, a rich medicinal fragrance covered this small mountain peak. When one inhaled a deep breath, it caused one to feel relaxed and happy. Yao Lao's gaze slowly swept over the few medicinal ingredients. He nodded slightly before waving his hand towards Xiao Yan. The ancient dark black ring on the latter's hand immediately came off automatically. Finally, it floated in front of Yao Lao. The black colored ring glowed and flickered. Immediately, a five foot tall, dark black medicinal cauldron suddenly appeared. The entire body of the dark black medicinal cauldron had strange flame lines painted all over it. At a glance, those flames appeared to have intelligence. They wiggled slightly appearing to be living creatures. The appearance of this medicinal cauldron caused Xiao Yan's mouth to salivate more. Back then, he had seen Yao Lao summon it before. However, he was basically a novice back then. How would he be painstakingly aware of just how valuable this medicinal cauldron was within the alchemist world? Black demon, tisk tisk. When can I get my hands on one of these medicinal cauldrons which is on the heavenly cauldron ranking? Xiao Yan's gaze was blurred as he eyed this dark black medicinal cauldron with an extraordinary aura. His tone was filled with desire as he spoke. The medicinal cauldrons that he used in the past were totally piles of garbage when compared with this black demon. Yao Lao eyed those glowing eyes of Xiao Yan and shook his head, not knowing whether to laugh or cry. He said, this kind of medicinal cauldron which is ranked within the heavenly cauldron rank possesses some spirituality. Moreover, I have also applied a spiritual imprint on this black demon. Currently, you are unable to use it. I will be able to remove the spiritual imprint once I possess a body that can host a spirit. You will be able to randomly use it at that time. Xiao Yan let out silly laughter. All right. The refinement is about to begin. Little fellow, don't be distracted. Yao Lao laughed. His face gradually became serious. It was apparent how serious he was toward this refinement through his act of summoning the black demon to refine the medicinal pill. A shriveled eagle claw-like illusionary hand extended slightly. Immediately, a cluster of thick white flame appeared out of nowhere. The surrounding temperature declined greatly the moment the thick white flame appeared. Although the temperature had declined, the flame rose even more intensely. The two completely opposite perceptions caused it to appear extremely strange. Yao Lao waved his hand. The thick white flame instantly swarmed into the medicinal cauldron. In an instant, a raging intense flame rose from within the cauldron. At this moment, the refinement of the Tier 6 ground spirit pill had officially begun. Chapter 539, Stir of Activity A dense white-colored flame was partially visible among the green shade of the lush green mountain peak, much like a ghostly flame. Yao Lao's expression was serious as he eyed the swiftly rising dense white flame within the medicinal cauldron. Due to the quality of the black demon cauldron being exceptionally extraordinary, this initial step of warming the cauldron required a little bit longer compared to other ordinary cauldrons. However, 
Yao Lao's medicinal refinement skills and his degree of control over the bone-chilling flame naturally enabled him to forego this extra time needed. Therefore, Yao Lao's hand waved at the few medicinal ingredients on the ground in front of him after the flame withered for nearly one minute. Immediately, the fiery red flame core Ganoderma slowly flew up and was finally thrown into the medicinal cauldron. The moment the flame core Ganoderma entered the medicinal cauldron, the dense white flame swallowed it like a hungry wolf pouncing on its meal. In an instant, the former began to swiftly wither. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the interior of the medicinal cauldron. Although the flame within the cauldron was blazing, he was able to sense that the temperature of the flame had been suppressed by Yao Lao to a very precise degree. Therefore, this flame may have appeared ferocious, but it did not incinerate the flame core Ganoderma until it turned into ashes. Instead, under a gradual withering, blood-colored tiny and dense water droplets seeped out from within the flame core Ganoderma. Finally, they rolled down along the surface and were suspended over the flame, repeatedly rolling and turning. Following the repeated grilling and blood-colored water droplets seeping out, the fiery red-colored surface of the flame core Ganoderma also swiftly withdrew. An instant later, the flame core Ganoderma was completely transformed into a withered gray color. At this moment, the medicinal strength essence that was contained within it had been completely forced out by the flame. Hence, its original body had completely turned into a useless scrap. Yao Lao waved his hand. The withered flame core Ganoderma rushed out from the medicinal cauldron. Finally, it landed on the grass to the side. It turned into a pile of grey-coloured soot the instant it landed on the ground, and scattered with the wines. He is indeed an alchemist grandmaster. This refinement technique is far from what I can compare with. Xiao Yan quietly praised as he eyed the soot-stained ground. He basically completely burned the medicinal ingredient when he was refining medicinal ingredients in the past. This could not be attributed to the ferocity of the flame. Instead, it could only be said that his degree of control of the flame had yet to truly reach the pinnacle. Only by being able to control the temperature the instant the medicinal ingredient was truly withered and being able to toss the withered remnants out of the medicinal cauldron with ease just like Yao Lao, could one be said to have truly perfect control. A cluster of blood-red liquid rolled and rotated within the medicinal cauldron. It was just like a blood-colored droplet. This blood-colored liquid was the medicinal strength essence that came from the initial refinement of the flame core Ganoderma. The energy that was contained in it was so large that it left one speechless. After the agglomeration of this blood-red liquid, this liquid did not quietly comply with the refinement like the medicines that Xiao Yan had refined in the past. Instead, numerous blood threads extended out. An extremely powerful energy was contained in the threads of blood. When each blood thread struck the interior wall of the cauldron, it would emit numerous clear sounds of metal colliding. Under the random collisions of these blood threads, even the medicinal cauldron trembled slightly. Xiao Yan was startled as he eyed the dense blood tentacles being shot around explosively within the medicinal cauldron. He could not help but smack his mouth. It was indeed worthy of being a medicinal ingredient needed to refine a tier 6 medicinal pill. It actually even possessed the ability to retaliate. From the looks of the strength of these blood threads, it was likely that those ordinary medicinal cauldrons which Xiao Yan had used would at the very most be able to withstand a couple of hits before it would be filled with holes. The violent movement of these blood threads did not cause Yao Lao's expression to change. He waved his hand faintly and the dense white-colored flame within the medicinal cauldron suddenly soared. Those blood threads appeared to be shocked the moment they came into contact with the flame, because they hurriedly shrank back. In this way, the originally packed blood threads were completely suppressed into that cluster of red liquid under the large-scale encirclement of flame. The liquid no longer dared to randomly charge out under the covetous gaze of the surrounding flame. Puff! A cluster of dense white flame separated out. Finally, it was suspended below the blood-colored liquid. As the flame rose, it unleashed an extremely hot temperature. In an instant, the surface of the blood-colored liquid immediately began to boil. Numerous tiny bubbles were being formed. As the bubbles were formed, 
wisps of extremely faint grey-coloured smoke immediately rose. This smoke contained impurities within it. In order to refine a good quality medicinal pill, one must completely expel these impurities. Otherwise, one might end up having difficulty forming a pill due to the saturation of these impurities. Eliminating the impurities of ordinary medicinal ingredients might at the very most require over 10 minutes. However, it was obvious that the flame core Ganoderma did not belong to that category. Therefore, it only spat out impurities in a lethargic manner even with the presence of such a powerful heavenly flame like the bone-chilling flame grilling it. In the end, it basically required the flame to grill it for over 10 minutes before it would slowly spit out a wisp of grey-coloured smoke. Such stubborn impurities caused Xiao Yan, who was watching from the side, to be somewhat speechless. This was still the result obtained under Yao Lao's control. If he were to be the one in control, it was likely that he would waste nearly a day's time just on refining the medicinal ingredients. This tier 6 medicinal pill was indeed extremely difficult to refine. The wait time was extremely dull. However, Xiao Yan did not let himself get distracted. His gaze did not shift away from the medicinal cauldron even once for nearly three hours. Following three hours of refinement, the impurities within that blood-colored liquid were finally completely removed. The blood-colored liquid with all its impurities removed not only became even rounder, but its color also became a little more transparent. If one were to look at it carefully, one could even see bubbles billowing within. Yao Lao's face also relaxed a little with the completion of the refinement. He gently flicked his finger, and that cluster of blood-colored liquid within the cauldron immediately slipped out after being wrapped by a cluster of thick white flame. Finally, it was poured into a jade bottle together with the flame. Xiao Yan was a little surprised when he saw this unique preservation method Yao Lao used. His gaze looked at that jade bottle only to realize that there was actually a faint layer of flame film at the mouth of the bottle. He was immediately startled. Only after musing for a moment did he come to an understanding. This kind of preservation is able to allow the medicinal liquid within it to maintain the temperature and purity as when it exited the cauldron. Moreover, it would not be doped with the impurities in the air. However, it requires a high degree of control of one's flame. A jade bottle is brittle. If the temperature is too high, the jade bottle would be burned until it cracked. In the event when one was caught off guard and could not react in time, it would cause the refined medicinal liquid to become completely worthless. Yao Lao slowly said as he waved his hand once again and tossed the greenwood celestial vine into the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan nodded slowly. He quietly remembered this tip within his heart. The refinement of the greenwood celestial vine was not any easier than that of the flame core Ganoderma. Due to the material that the former was made of, its flame resistance was something that even caused Yao Lao to be surprised. The time needed to just expel the medicinal strength from the greenwood celestial vine was over an hour. The refinement that followed took an even longer time. This long four hours caused Xiao Yan to wipe the cold sweat off his face. Yao Lao was able to endure this long because of his powerful spiritual strength. With Xiao Yan's current ability, he could at the very most last for over three hours while refining medicinal pills before he needed to rest. He could only continue refining after waiting for his dochi to recover. Night had already covered the entire mountain range by the time the greenwood celestial vine turned into a cluster of green-colored liquid that was also preserved in a jade bottle. The thick white flame that was on the peak of a mountain was a little eye-catching amid the nighttime darkness. Yao Lao did not rest for even a moment after he had completed refining the greenwood celestial vine. He once again began refining the asparagus ice fire fruit. Xiao Yan's somewhat tired eyes were once again stimulated with energy as he eyed Yao Lao's tense expression. He once again focused on the refinement. In his heart, he clearly knew that observing a pill refinement of such a level would be extremely beneficial to him. He could not just waste such an opportunity. The time needed to refine the asparagus ice fire fruit was similar to that needed to refine the greenwood celestial vine. It was already late into the night by the time the refinement was completed. The stars that were spread across the sky flickered, scattering a weak light. 
It must be said that refining a tier 6 medicinal pill was an extremely troublesome and tiring work. Just the refinement of the medicinal ingredients had nearly taken an entire day. However, it was fortunate that Yao Lao had an extremely great ability. He still did not show the slightest sign of being tired even after refining for an entire day without stop. On the other hand, Xiao Yan already had dark circles forming under his eyes. That rank 6 water affinity monster core was also completely refined by Yao Lao into a pile of blue colored powder on the second day. This segment alone exhausted over 10 hours of Yao Lao's time. The resistance of the rank 6 monster core to the flame was more than dozens of times more intense compared to that of those medicinal ingredients. Moreover, due to the restraint that both elements had with each other, the rich water affinity energy had nearly even rushed out of the medicinal cauldron. However, it was fortunate that Yao Lao had anticipated this. Therefore, it did not result in much losses. However, such torment naturally exhausted a large amount of time. Xiao Yan sat by the side. He could not help but feel some palpitations as he watched Yao Lao contend with that rank 6 monster core. If it was him doing it, he would likely have difficulty subduing this stubborn monster core even if he spent 3 to 4 days. Moreover, if it was an ordinary flame that was being used, it might even be extinguished by the rich water affinity energy. However, no matter how tough the process was, the refinement was finally completed. On the third day, the repel lens of the few medicinal ingredients, and the powder from the monster core began to gradually weaken under the grilling by the bone-chilling flame which went on for day and night. With this, they finally began to merge together. Although it was merging, the speed at which it was doing so was just like a tortoise crawling. It was so slow that it was difficult for one to endure. During this period of time, Xiao Yan could not resist dozing off once even with his mental strength. Fusing was the most important step in the refinement of medicinal pill. As long as one makes a slight mistake during this period of time, the medicinal ingredients that they had refined with great difficulty would be instantly incinerated. Therefore, even with Yao Lao's ability, he did not dare be distracted on this step. He was too busy to bother even when Xiao Yan had been secretly snoozing off. Although this step was extremely risky, it was fortunate that there was Yao Lao, who was an alchemist grandmaster, controlling it. Therefore, the worst case scenario did not occur. After two full days of fusing, a faint blue colored embryonic medicinal pill was slowly forming within the medicinal cauldron. The instant this embryonic medicinal pill was formed, Xiao Yan clearly sensed the energy around him begin to fluctuate suddenly. That condition was just like a huge rock being thrown into the surface of a calm lake where the enormous waves rolled. Yao Lao's expression did not change even slightly because of the fluctuating energy in the outside world. His mind was focused intently on the change of the medicinal pill within the medicinal cauldron. This kind of critical juncture did not allow him to be even slightly distracted. Following the flow of time, that embryonic irregular shaped pale blue medicinal pill gradually became round. A bright glow was emitted from within it, rendering the pill until it became like a blue colored gem. The instant the medicinal pill started emitting a bright glow, Xiao Yan was somewhat stunned to discover that circular somewhat substance-like energy ripples began to repeatedly surge out in all directions with the medicinal cauldron at its center. That unceasing momentum was quite spectacular. Xiao Yan swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He did not expect that this tier 6 medicinal pill would actually create such a large reaction when it was formed. No wonder Yao Lao said that they must come into the deep mountains to refine it. If this was in the inner academy, it was likely that it would immediately attract everyone from within over. You should step back a little. An even greater reaction will come later. Yao Lao's gaze stared at the interior of the medicinal cauldron in an intent manner as his mouth suddenly let out a reminder. The purple cloud wings on Xiao Yan's back nearly sprang out together as he heard this. With a flap of the wings, Xiao Yan's body rushed to a region away from the peak of the mountain. The seal on Yao Lao's hand suddenly changed when he saw that Xiao Yan had moved aside. He let out a low cry from his mouth. In an instant, the thick white flame within the medicinal cauldron suddenly soared. 
it nearly filled the entire medicinal cauldron. In that instant when his eyes were filled with a thick white color, the bright blue-colored light became increasingly eye-piercing. The blue-colored light shrank and expanded. Following this expansion, waves of energy ripples began spreading even more quickly. Looking down from above, the mountain rocks rolled and the tree trunks broke wherever these energy ripples spread to. Even the turf flipped open. This powerful destructive strength caused Xiao Yan's throat to involuntarily roll. The blue-colored glow shrank and expanded at an increasing rate. It was as though the glow was brewing something. This continued for nearly half an hour before the glow suddenly shrank to its smallest point. The serious look on Yao Lao's face was even denser than it was any time before this. The glow had shrunk in such a swift manner. Bang! The spot of light which had suddenly shrunk was maintained for a couple of minutes. Suddenly, it was expanded under Xiao Yan's pupils, who was focusing intently on it. Eventually, the surge in the blue-colored light wrapped around the entire mountain peak. A thunder-like explosion occurred from nowhere. Immediately, a blue-colored light pillar that was twenty feet thick shot into the sky from the medicinal cauldron. Xiao Yan was stunned as he eyed the enormous blue-colored light pillar that shot into the clouds. He involuntarily inhaled a deep breath of cold air. This reaction, was a little too big right? Even though this place was far from the inner academy, it was likely that it would not be possible to escape the senses of some of the powerful elders, no? Hopefully, it will not attract the people from the inner academy. Otherwise, there will be some trouble, Xiao Yan swallowed his saliva. He eyed the light pillar, that did not disappear for a long time, as he muttered with a bitter smile. Chapter 540, Medicine Emperor, Han Feng Two human figures were seated in a quiet room of a pavilion home within the deep regions of the inner academy. One of them was wearing a large black robe and had white hair. His old face was like a monk where it was difficult for a shred of emotion to ripple over it. The back of his hand rested by the window as he eyed the lush greenery outside. A long while later, he spoke in an indifferent voice, Qin Xian, what is the activity within the blazing sky Qi refining tower recently? First elder, the fallen heart flame is becoming less and less calm. Currently, it will writhe out once every half a month. If the elders had not joined hands to lay an energy mirror knot, it is likely that a great number of deaths and injuries would appear among the students training within the tower. A yellow-clothed old man who was a little hunched was bowing respectfully from behind as he replied. It is becoming sooner and sooner hey, the old man who was addressed as the first elder sighed gently. He muttered, back then, the headmaster had established the inner academy in this place after he discovered the fallen heart flame. At that time, he had said that the repression and seal could only obtain a temporary effect. Instead, the more vicious the seal was, the even more terrifying the eruption in the future would be. From the looks of the trend of the heavenly flame this time around, it is indeed extremely powerful. If we are not careful, it might well destroy the entire inner academy. What can we do? Anxiety flashed across the face of the yellow-clothed old man as he asked softly, why don't we inform the headmaster to return? The headmaster is roaming around in places far away. He shows himself at times then quickly disappears. How can we inform him? The first elder shook his head. He waved his hand and spoke, from today on, all the leave of the elders are cancelled. All the tower guarding elders must return to their post. Once anyone discovers that there is any unusual movement of the fallen heart flame everyone must join hands to seal it. We must not let it completely erupt. Otherwise, the aftermath will be too serious. Yes sir. Additionally, prepare a backup plan. Expel all the students from the tower when the fallen heart flame becomes violent. Do not let any student enter. The first elder's face was calm and steady. Orders were being given one after another in an orderly fashion from his mouth, inform the outer academy and tell all the strong people within the academy to prepare to await for orders anytime. If the fallen heart flame were to suddenly erupt, the mirror seal that covers the space of the inner academy would shatter. At that time, 
those fellows from the Black Corner region would definitely sense the powerful fluctuations of the Fallen Heart Flame. Chaos would arrive once they come to ascertain what it is. First Elder is worried about Medicine Emperor Han Feng from the Black Corner region right? The yellow-clothed old man was quiet for a moment before he suddenly spoke. The glow in the First Elder's eyes flashed as he nodded slowly and said, Han Feng is an alchemist. The attraction that the heavenly flame poses to him is incomparable. Back then, he had faintly guessed about the existence of a heavenly flame in the inner academy. However, he cannot be certain. It is due to this that he does not dare to have any rash actions. After all, our Jianan Academy is not something that just anyone can offend. This time around, the eruption of the Fallen Heart Flame will be stronger than any other previous ones. When the seal is broken at that time, Han Feng, with his abnormally sharp spiritual perception, will definitely sense the fluctuations from the Heavenly Flame. At that time, he will definitely go all out to snatch it. We naturally need not be afraid of him if he is merely an ordinary elite Do Huang, however, this fellow has another identity. He is a Tier 6 alchemist. The excellence of his medicinal refining skills are something that even old Huo from the alchemist department cannot compare with. Once he wants to snatch the heavenly flame, it is likely that he will use his connections. You should clearly understand just what kind of frightening ability to summon people a Tier 6 alchemist has. Moreover, according to the intelligence that I have gathered, Han Yu appears to be also be in control of a kind of heavenly flame, the first elder's face already carried a slight seriousness when he spoke his last few words. What? That fellow already possesses a heavenly flame. The yellow-clothed elder immediately revealed a shocked face when he heard this. For an alchemist at Han Feng's level, possessing a heavenly flame was similar to adding a pair of wings to a tiger. On this point, one could clearly understand just how enormous the help a heavenly flame provided an alchemist from the way Xiao Yan was able to refine a tier 5 medicinal pill with just his Dou Ling strength. Do not forget who the teacher of this fellow is. The first elder said indifferently. Yao Zunzhe, also a power level, Yao Chen. The face of the yellow-colored old man changed slightly. He spat out a name that was once extremely prominent on the Dou Qi continent. He finally recovered from the shock of that name a long while later. With a frown, he said, it is rumored that Yao Cheng was also in possession of a kind of heavenly flame. Now that he has fallen, it is likely that he passed on that heavenly flame to Han Feng, right? I'm not certain. Yao Chen's fall is really too strange. Other than Han Feng, no one is clear about what actually happened. Although the latter said that he had died from a backlash while refining a medicinal pill, this kind of excuse appears a little too far-fetched. With Yao Cheng's medicinal refining skills that were unrivaled in the world, how would he make such a mistake? Perhaps, there are some tricks involved. The first elder let out a cold laughter as he spoke. First elder, your meaning is? The yellow-clothed elder was startled. He immediately lowered his voice as he questioned. Who knows? I heard that Yao Chen's old friend, Feng Zunzhe has been investigating this manner during these many years. I think that he does not believe that Yao Chen would die in such a dubious manner. The first elder replied with a deeper meaning hidden in his words. He immediately waved his hand and said, All right, these matters do not have much relation with us. Currently, the most important thing is that we should tighten our guard against Han Feng. If he were to gather those factions from the Black Corner region and cooperate with one another, even our Jianan Academy would face a headache. Yes, I will immediately go and settle this matter. The yellow-clothed elder nodded as he spoke. The first elder nodded slightly before asking abruptly, That's right, how is that new student who also possesses a heavenly flame, Xiao Yan, like recently? KK, it is rumored that he had entered the deep mountains to train for two months. By the time he returned, he had already broken through to the Doling class. This training speed really leaves one speechless. Moreover, in a pill refining competition with Han Xian, he had even successfully refined a tier 5 medicinal pill. 
The yellow-clothed elder's voice was filled with amazement. Oh! The face of the first elder moved slightly. He nodded and said, he is also an alchemist. Moreover from the looks of the circumstances, his refining ability is quite great. Moreover, he also possess quite a great training talent. It is within reasoning to have such a training speed. Give the instruction that everyone should try their best not to make things difficult for this little fellow. Allow him to do what he wants to do. We might need to rely on him in the future. Yes. The yellow-clothed elder nodded once again. The last time they heard this they wondered what use could a feathering boy have. However, ever since news got out that Xiao Yan could refine a tier 5 medicinal pill, the opinion these elders had toward him had changed quite a lot. A tier 5 alchemist. This status was much more distinguished compared to these elders whose strengths were at the Do Wang class. If a tier 5 alchemist and an elite Do Wang were to be placed in the same place to get people to invite them, the person who was issuing the invitation would definitely choose a tier 5 alchemist without any hesitation as long as he was not a fool. Although the latter was strong in combat, this little strength was not even worth mentioning under the value that an alchemist could create. All the elders in the inner academy were extremely clear about this point. You should leave first. Pass my instructions to every single elder. The first elder waved his hand. He was just about to ask the yellow-clothed elder to leave when his expression changed abruptly. Surprise surfaced on his rippleless, old, well-like face at this moment. His eyes looked through the greenery outside the window and directly shot toward the deep mountain range in the distance. First Elder The yellow-clothed elder involuntarily cried out in an uncertain manner when he saw this behavior of the First Elder. With his strength, it was still impossible to sense the enormous energy undulation from such a great distance away. What a strong undulation! This activity can only be created by a medicinal pill that is at least tier 6. A glow flashed across the First Elder's eyes. His gaze appeared to be able to see through the gap in space and was studying a mountain peak deep within the mountains. A tier 6 medicinal pill. The expression of the yellow-clothed elder by the side also changed greatly. He cried out involuntarily, there is no one within this inner academy who can refine a medicinal pill of such tier. I will need to go and take a look. You should do as I have ordered. Someone who is able to refine a tier 6 medicinal pill. Could it be Han Feng? The first elder muttered. His expression immediately and suddenly became extremely ugly. It would be something that was far from reassuring if such a great enemy was to quietly sneak into the inner academy. The body of the first elder shook the moment his voice sounded. By the time the yellow-clothed elder raised his head, a black-colored afterimage was already slowly disappearing in front of him. The latter hurriedly lifted his head and saw a faint black shadow that appeared fleetingly within the sky. The moment the first elder discovered the energy fluctuations within the deep mountains, a man within a certain quiet pavilion house in the chaotic region on the other side of the mountain range also raised his head slightly. The man was wearing a green-colored, long-sleeved garment with a maple leaf sewn on the back of it, and the direction his gaze was drawn in was actually the spot where the energy had suddenly erupted from. The face of the green-clothed man was quite handsome and outstanding. His long black-colored hair dangled to his shoulders. He also appeared to be carrying a strange medicinal fragrance on his body, causing people to involuntarily have a feeling of wanting to get close to him. This undulation, it is something that appears when a tier 6 medicinal pill is formed. The green-clothed man muttered softly. A moment later, he frowned slightly and said, the other side of the mountain range should be the place where the Jianan Academy is located. Could it be old man Huo who is refining it? However, with his medicinal refinement skills, it seems that he would have some trouble refining a tier 6 medicinal pill, no? Don't tell me that his medicinal refining skills have soared during the few years that I did not see him. This undulation is within the boundary of the Jianan Academy and it is not easy for me to go and investigate. Although I am not afraid of the repercussions, there would be some trouble if I am discovered by those old fellows. The green-clothed man slowly turned around as he shook his head. There was an ancient medicinal cauldron badge on his chest. On it, 
there were six strange golden flickering slight ripples that pierced people's eyes until they felt pain. Six golden lines. It was something that only a tier six alchemist had the qualification to wear in the alchemist world. This man whose appearance seemed to be that of someone in his thirties was actually able to wear it. There was only one person of such ability within the black corner region. Medicine Emperor, Han Feng.